going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the best way to spend your 4,600 Madden points from ordering the Deluxe Edition of Madden 24. Now, if you guys enjoy this video, if you like it, if it helps you out, make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Shows a lot of support on the channel, helps the videos get noticed. Also, if you're brand new here, you're searching on YouTube for Mutt24 content, whether it's how to make coins, how to get free players, how to build your Ultimate Team, you found the right channel for everything stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it so many of you have been asking pop i pre-ordered the deluxe edition what do i spend these 4600 madden points on we got you covered but before we talk about those i do want to roll some footage for my stream earlier this morning and shout out to everybody that stopped by for the giveaways and the drops and we're going to be live later tonight as well if you want to see some gameplay with our squad we're up to an 81 overall but i did open up my pre-order bonuses uh, and this is basically what i decided to do with the fantasy packs and the choices that we had in front of us All right, what do we get here? Strategy items. Throw power, throw on the run. Trucking, no, not for me, no. I mean, you got to go with this one, right? I'm going with this one. Oh, you get two of them. Oh, I'm going uh, deep coverage, and I'm going run and gun. AKA pack, I'm going sauce. I think sauce is the better card. And I think I like the card art a little bit better. So we're going sauce with the AKA choice. For the Hall of Fame player, honestly, I really don't know the, the move here. If you didn't do rookie premieres, I'd go Joe Thomas just because it's an offensive lineman. I personally would stay away from the cornerbacks just because, again, there's so many rookie premier corners and you got the Sauce Gardner AKA card. These are both really short cornerbacks as well. Personally, I'm going to go Joe Klecko, defensive tackle or just defensive line. DeMarcus Ware is not a bad option either. It's just another positional group that I would recommend trying to build with free cards rather than spending your coins and your money early on now for the 4600 madden points i think patience is key on this one so let's go into the store and go over our options here uh, number one, there is a bundle for 12,000 points that gives you, it's you know, it's basically about $90 with EA Play, $100 without it. It's going to give you a bunch of platinum cards, and it's a great opportunity to kind of build that coin count to start out the year. I will have a video showing you my platinum bundle. You can't see it in the store right now because there was only, there's a purchase limit of one, and since I opened up mine, it's disappeared. But one route that you have, right, is that you can take your 4,600 Madden points that you got from the pre-order... And this is only going to be if you're no money spent, but you can go in and purchase additional points. You'd roughly have to spend about $75. So you'd have to buy, and this is without any EA Play discount. Uh, if you had the discount, it's going to be a little bit less, but you would buy the 5,850 point bundle and then the 2,800 point bundle. That would give you over 12,000 points, which would allow you to buy that Platinum Elite bundle, which again, should get you started off on the right foot as far as making some coins because that pack pretty much guarantees you coins. I made over 700,000 off of it, but I have heard that people had worse luck than me. So take that for what it's worth. Also, again, if you're no money spent, don't listen to anything I just said and I don't really encourage you to spend money on the scenario I just gave you but it is an option that you have if you just strictly want to spend the 4,600 Madden points this is what I recommend uh, number one because you want to try to generate coins from these number one is opening up the weekly platinum pack so uh, this particular pack the step one pack is 500 of the 4,600 Madden points that you got we're going to go ahead and open it up here. I'm going to spend these points exactly how I'm recommending you guys to do it. And with this pack, it is a fantasy pack, meaning that we're going to get three random choices. Uh, first one is an 83 Camara. Second one's a 78 gold cards. That's right. Gold cards actually have quick sell amounts. Uh, and obviously, we're going to take the higher overall here in Camara, which is an 83 overall. This quick sells for 57K. So that would be the very first pack that I open up if I were you and you're looking to uh, figure out how to spend those points and my apologies uh, apparently this pack gives you all three cards I thought you had to pick one or the other and that's actually not the case looks like we got two cards the gold and then the Camara. 
uh, that do quick sell for coins. And then we got an 82 Mike Williams. So for $5, I don't think that's a terrible option at all. And it looks like we can open it up one more time. So here is now uh, 10,000, or excuse me, 1,000. I should know that because I'm really good at math. That's 1,000 of the 4,600 Madden points uh, that we're going to spend on this pack. So we get a standard gold card here. We get a gold quick sell card and another gold quick sell card. So it looks like that first one was actually pretty good compared to this one. We got two golds and then a, a third gold that's not quick sellable for a coin. So once you open up that pack, you now get to step number two, which is an additional platinum pack. And in my opinion, you really should be trying your hardest to turn these Madden points into coins. And that's why I'm gonna go ahead and recommend that you open up this weekly platinum pack for step two as well, which is gonna be 1,050 Madden points. Now notice that there is a timer on this pack on Friday, this is going to go away and another one's going to appear. And if you have enough patience, and hopefully you do, I would recommend doing exactly what we're doing in this video a second time once this pack refreshes. Let's go ahead and open up what we have in front of us now and see what we can get here. Uh, this one, being that the pack costs a little bit more, I'm assuming is going to give us a few more cards. So we got an, uh, an 81 overall quick sell card, another 81, a gold card here, another gold card here, another gold card, and an elite. 80. So I think we get all of these, if I'm not mistaken. And in totality, which I don't think we had the greatest results here, we earned ourselves 78,000 coins off of a couple low elites and a couple golds. So if you did exactly what I just did, you'll have 2,550 Madden points left. And what I would recommend, if you have enough patience to do it, is basically saving those points for the refresh of those same packs on Friday. And that would allow you to open all three of them up again. The two packs that were 500 points and the one pack that was 1,050 points. If you go that route, you're going to get more quick sell cards, which is going to generate more coins, and hopefully you have some pretty good pack luck. Uh, but that would also leave you with another 500 points after purchasing the three refresh packs, and you can spend those 500 points however you want. But again, I would probably save that final amount of currency for one more of the 500 coin or 500 Madden point platinum packs that would likely refresh again a week from this upcoming Friday. There's a couple other routes that you can go. They do have an elite starter team bundle, which is almost catered. I mean, if you look at the price here, it's almost catered for you guys to spend your 4,600 Madden points on this pack. The only reason that I would stay away from this is because it gives you BND items. And I don't think you want to spend basically money. Again, it's from pre-order bonuses, but I don't want to spend money on BND, on cards that we can't sell to make coins off of, and we're going to get a minimal amount of training. So this isn't a bad idea if you did like zero rookie premieres and maybe you're playing for the first time ever. This is going to get you a fairly usable team this early in the year. I'm just personally not a fan of spending points on something that's going to give you BNDs in return. And that also is the reason why I would stay far away from this Headliners BND starter pack. It is 10,500 points. Sorry, 10,050 points. 1,050 points. I got it on the third try here. But it gives you 284 BND cards. So again, you're spending money to get items that aren't really going to generate coins for you. Uh, the Headliners Hero Power Pack is actually not a terrible option for basically about 25 or 2,800 Madden points, that's going to guarantee you 284 pluses and then another 84 guaranteed. Hopefully one of those two 84 pluses is an 87 and they're not 384s, but at the end of the day, 384s is the uh, is three fifths of what you need to build out one of the 87 overall headliners champions such as Kenny Pickett or Cam Curl or JOK. And remember, you can save these cards to not build one of those current champions, but maybe wait for part two, which could feature better and obviously more 87 overalls from the headliners hero so the way i see it there's basically three routes you can spend it all on those platinum packs that we opened up in this video and then whatever you have left like we have left right now you can save for that friday refresh uh step two is you can go to the full elite team starter bundle i highly advise against this one but it is an option if you want to build a very usable team pretty quickly and then the third option is the headline heroes power pack and and buying this will give you a little bit left over if you start with 4,600 points and then you purchase this pack that's going to give you or leave you remaining with 1,800 points, which you could take a thousand of those 1,800 points and open up the two 500 point platinum packs 
that we opened up at the beginning of the video. And then at that point, you're going to be sitting there left over with 800 points, which you can wait again for another pack refresh or something else. But those are really the three routes that I would personally take to be spending the 4,600 Madden points. Or if you want to have extreme patience, just hang on to it and wait for maybe the second promo of the year, maybe an ultimate kickoff promo. That's something we tend to see uh, around the start of week one of the NFL season. So, you know, you got a couple different options there. Let me know what you did down below in the comment section and let me know if you had any pack luck. Hopefully you did. But thank you guys for tuning into this video. My name is Popular Stranger and I'm out. Peace.